So this video is going to be a quick teardown of the Apple Silicon iPhone case. This is a very popular seller for Apple, sort of their baseline case for the iPhone, at least if you want an Apple branded case. It's also a leather version, uh, but this one's largely been unchanged for a number of generations now. And it's uh, the kind of the standard iPhone case that you would get. It has the uh, silicon, grippy silicon outside, which is like a rubbery material, hard plastic shell. There's some sort of suede in here. Uh, you could upgrade this to the leather version. That's again, that setup has been unchanged for a number of generations now. This model was, a re this specific unit, I believe was an iPhone 11 unit. It's been uh, used for a long time, clearly at the end of its life. And uh, I want to do a quick teardown so you can see what's inside this case. These sell for about $35, $40. Okay, so uh, again, hard plastic interior, suede type material here to protect the phone, camera hole here, cut out bottom. So you have limited protection around the speaker area, but uh, no problems with the uh, covering up of speaker holes or your charger at the bottom. This is the silicon. Uh, this one had a uh, little stick on pocket. You can clearly see uh, some less wear and tear here. And what happens with these over time is the two components, the, uh, the silicon or the TPU, whatever this is, they separate out and now you have this hard plastic below and the hard plastic will crack over time. So sometimes you could have a sharp area. So this one, I don't even really have to tear it out too much with any sort of tools so we could see what happens. There's that silicon. Clearly it's starting to break down over time just with uh, kind of wear and tear, maybe a couple of drops here and there, some UV, but having your phone out in the sun with you, it will start to wear down, wear down and the, the adhesive between the two, specifically around this outside of the frame is always where these things start to, uh, to tear. The real weak point here is on the lower corner where it has a, a wrapped corner. So that means this material, the silicone material, it can't go around. It has to kind of stop here. And that just is an area where it starts to peel. And you can see clearly it's worse here than it is anywhere else on the phone. You can only get up, it gets so much ripped off. And then what happens, you hit the adhesive. Clearly you could see the adhesive didn't go all the way to the edges. It was probably here and then wrapped and then it was some over here on the corner of the frame. That was probably just to prevent any sort of bulges or seams over here. So yeah, basically I'm just peeling up the glue right here where it has a glued kind of seam at the edge of the frame. You can kind of see that there. Looks like it has a little bit of, can't exactly make that as a little bit of uh, hard plastic to sort of give it a lip. That way when you put it down, the glass or the crystal, whatever, of the phone doesn't touch the surface. It has to be just a millimeter or so off that. It's a really pr important protective feature. And now we see, here's that little plastic right there, that hard plastic. You can just see it. So that was clearly put in there to extend that frame and give the silicone something to grab onto. And here, got a better look at it right there. Yeah. And just to do the full dissection, we have the hard plastic here. The buttons are just the same silicon. There's nothing in them, no metal, nothing like that. And then just the light material. So this is basically tearing up until the glue portion. We'll see if we can get a look at that glue. It's probably not going to be that easy to do. Yeah, this is just tearing up. Looks like it's just strips of glue that are put down and we can see lines in them. So it's probably spread out with some sort of spreader or scraper tool. And then this backing pieces put, put on it. What I'm gonna do now is give this case a chop. You could hear that hard plastic snip. Let's see if we could rip it. Okay, so here's the hard plastic. You could see what happened with this 
suede. It seems to be, I don't know if it's suede or some sort of cotton suede -ish material, but you can see that has some fibers there. So clearly it's, uh, it's not just like a, a you know, some sort of textured plastic or TPU or something. It's got something leathery in it with some fibrous. It's really, I will say that Apple uses some very excellent glue, which is basically impossible to get this thing up. Maybe, maybe, maybe with a razor blade, you could separate the two, but at that point, the chance of cutting yourself instead of cutting this hard plastic is getting pretty high. I'm going to twirl these needle nose pliers, needle nose pliers, and kind of just see if the suede material is stronger than the adhesive, at least in a section. And we just got to see, got to look at what's, what's under there. So there's the back of that suede, probably is leather with some plastic backing on it. Did kind of stretch in the way you'd ex expect a leather to stretch. There's the other side. This has held up really well, but again, there's not really any movement against it. Here you can see just barely the hard plastic. Looks like there's some machining marks here, probably just to clean the plastic up. It's pretty cool. And then uh, there's that same strip of glue right here. So just strips of adhesive seem to be sufficient to do the job. Let's even get a little bit more down. Yeah, I'm not really seeing, seeing any adhesive over here the way it was before, but <laughs> clearly it's stuck down there. So maybe the adhesive was, instead of being on a strip, it was put on the suede and then put down. That's probably that layer we're seeing right here where it looks more plasticky. Yeah, that would be my guess. We're not seeing any uh, differing materials in between the plastic and the suede. Same thing, just those kind of, uh, those machining marks right there. You could probably just make out that they're circular patterns. And then uh, not much to say about the plastic. It's just a, it's a hard plastic. It's definitely kind of sharp at the corners right here where it, where it ripped and uh, it's stiff, hard plastic. If you know these cases, you know they're actually, they uh, protect the, the phone extremely well. So that hard plastic is good enough to, even though there's not much to it, just a couple of grams of plastic, it's more than enough to distribute the weight and prevent the, the vast majority of, of uh, side and back falls from doing any damage to the phone. You know, if you drop it on the, obviously on the crystal, this isn't protecting the front, so you're on your own there. Uh, but yeah, I think that basically covers it. It's the uh, soft silicon with some glue, the suede material with uh, probably adhesive on the back, and then hard plastic shell, not too much else to it. Thanks for watching.